Hi all, let's talk about some quarter circles today. And we're gonna talk about the perimeter of the quarter circle, which involves adding this side, this side, and this side, right? So we're gonna end up with five plus five plus the quarter circle. And the quarter circle is gonna be two pi r, which is the circumference, divided by four. So we have to do this, and then we have to add 10. So what's 2 pi r? Okay, so r is 5. So 2 times r is 10. So it's 10 pi divided by 4. So this is going to equal 10 times 3.14 is 31.4 divided by 4 which is going to be 7.85. I'm gonna, in the interest of time, I'm going to do these calculations without a lot of work. So 7.85, but just to get the main idea. But then 7.85, we have to add to 10, right? So 10 plus 7.85 will give us 17.85. Okay, so let's go over the main idea again. It's going to be 3 plus 3, so 6. So we'll, we'll, I'll, on the right-hand side, I'll write this. And then this is going to be 2 pi r divided by 4. Okay, so what is 2 pi r? Well, it's 6 pi divided by 4. Okay, so what's 6 times 3.14? It is 18.84 divided by 4, which will give us 4.71. So this, this length here is 4.71. That's the main takeaway. So 6 plus 4.71 is 10.71. Okay, how about the radius of a quarter circle with, so this is, two, the radius of a quarter circle is two, what is the perimeter? So we have two and two, so I'll put the four here. And then we have two times pi times two divided by four, right? It's a quarter circle. Okay, luckily for us, this is a nice one finally, right? Two times two is four divided by four is one, so we just end up with 3.14. So 4 plus 3.14 is 7.14. That was, that was a relief. Okay, this one's going to be a nice one too. So we've got 2 and 2 is 4. And then this over here is 2 times pi times r, which is 2 divided by four, right? Because we're not going for the whole circle, we're going for a quarter circle, right? So that goes away. We just get pi, which is 3.14. So again, we'll end up with 7.14. Okay, so the perimeter of the quarter circle is 10.71. What is the radius? Okay, so if the perimeter is 10.71, let's call this R. So then there's 2r, and then over here, there's 2 pi r divided by 4, which is pi r divided by 2, which is 3.14 divided by 2 is 1.57, so it's 1.57 r. Okay, so what's the logic here? This thing is 1.57 r. This thing is 2 r. So in all, we have 3.57 r. And what should that equal? That should equal 10.71. And we don't need, we can probably guess the answer here, right? Because 
I mean, it feels like it's three, right? Three times three is nine. You got some left over, right? So it's three. In other words, you're dividing 10.71 by 3.57 to get three. Okay, how about this? Okay, you know what? Just because there's there are there are there are a lot of numbers here, let's just realize that this was this is the same problem. Right? It's the same problem as the last one, so it's just a repeat. So let's just say three. Let's make peace with that. Okay. Uh, the radius of a quarter circle is five centimeters. What is the quarter circle's perimeter? Okay. Um, so we end up with five plus five, I'll put the 10 here. And then over here, this is two pi r, which is two times pi times five divided by four. So that's 10 pi, right? So that's 3.14, right? 10 times 3.14 is 31.4 divided by 4. So if we take 31.4, we divide it by 4, we'll end up with 7.85, which we did that before, right? So that's 7.85 plus the 10 will be 17.85. Okay, so now the perimeter is given, right? So we have the whole thing here. This is R, this is R, so together this will be 2R. Over here we'll have 2 pi R divided by 4, which is pi R divided by 2, which is 3.14 divided by 2, which we did before is 1.57 times R, right? So this is 1.57 times r, this is r, this is r. So all together, it's 3.57r equals 17.85. And we're hoping they're nice to us, right? They probably are, right? It's probably what, it's probably the closest guess, right? It's probably a whole number. It doesn't have to be, but probably is. It's probably five. Because if we divide 17.85 by 3.57, well, let's guess five, right? So what's five times three? It's 15. What's five times 57.57? It's 250 plus 35, it's 285, right? So it ends up being right if we just put in a five. Okay, this, the perimeter is 14.28. So we end up with two R from these, just to, you know, we did that. We've done this a couple times now, so this will just end up being 1.57 r, right? That came from 2 pi r divided by 4. Skipping some steps because we've done it a couple times. That'll give us 1.57 r. So the whole thing is 3.57 r will equal 14.28. So we divide both sides by 3.57. And you can, you know, however you want to do this, you can. Um, and the answer is going to be four. Okay. The perimeter is 7.14. That feels good, right? That feels close to 3.14. I have a feeling, um, yeah, I have a feeling it's just going to be 2, right? Let's, let's do this a different way. Let's sort of like guess, right? So let's guess that this is 2 and that this is 2, right? Then this will be 2 pi, so this will be 4, right? And this would be 2 pi r or times 2 divided by four. So that would be pi, which is 3.14, which would make this 3.14. And that ends up being right, right? Because 3.14 plus four equals 7.14. So, you know, guess and check is another way of doing it. Um, 
but you know we've also done it more systematically and guess and check won't work if the answer isn't perfect like two or three or four right but you know sometimes you get lucky so the answer here is two kilometers all right friends i hope that was fun for you it was fun for me and i will see you next time